welcome to RV life. Before we continue with the video, can I ask you for one big favor? Can you please subscribe to our channel? Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment asking how we rented this RV for less than $9 a day. For right now, we're gonna have breakfast and keep enjoying this beautiful Pacific Ocean here in California. It's our first time doing an RV. We're like, I'm gonna be honest, we're totally not camping people. We're gonna do it a little bit more like glam camping because we're renting an RV. So Cruise America, if you go online and check their deals, every once in a while there will be some awesome deals that pop up for like relocation. So what's really interesting about this company in particular is they have promotions starting at $9 per day. So when they have to move a RV from point A to point B, they allow you to rent it for $9 a day. They give you up to a thousand miles and no drop off fee. Is it too good to be true? That's exactly what we're doing. We're booking our first experience in a motorhome on a one-way transport from Phoenix to California. And we're gonna be able to spend some time in some RV camps to see if we like it or not. I'll go through the cost of what it is to stay in an RV park. The first one we're doing is the California State Park. So it's at the beach. So it's 50 bucks for that. And then we're staying at one that actually has hookups close to Slovang in Northern California, $120. So far right now, for about a week, we're into it for a lodging, a little bit less than like 300 bucks. Then we'll have gas. And then obviously if you do want to stop and you want to get food or whatever else, or experiences while you're driving around, it's gonna be extra. Super way to make a really great, like, cheap vacation. We're gonna try it, let you know how we've never done this before, so you'll watch us get to figure out the RV hookup and emptying the, um, the potty. That'll, that'll be fun and exciting to watch. And how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. You're looking at 144 is your total trip cost. I know that's a real good deal. Going over to LA, you're set. Now I'm not gonna lie, guys. I came out of this with a lot of information. The customer service agent was excellent. He took his time explaining to me step by step how to use everything in the RV. I came out confident, knowing that I can operate, even connect the bathroom to the RV park. Thank you for the team. You guys were excellent. Hey guys, so we got our motorhome and I'm going to show it as we actually already came in here and cleaned. So when you do pick them up, you're probably going to need to clean them a little bit and then make them homey. What we've got is making this bed up here. It's actually a pretty big size bed. I'm surprised it probably fits a queen. I got mat, got the table right here. This also goes out to a bed. So if you're sleeping more people, you can do that. We've pretty much got everything we need. It was really cool. Cruise America does offer this little checklist. If you're not sure what you need to bring for us, we're just gonna do the paper plates and plastic silverware, but you know, it's probably easier if you're gonna go on a long trip, you know, bring stuff you can wash. It's quick, it's easy got nice storage space. There's actually quite a lot of storage in here, which is kind of nice. We've got a nice stove and sink, microwave, which is great. So we can do popcorn, breakfast, pretty much anything in the morning that you want to do on a cooktop, sink, freezer, and refrigerator. Both really good size, actually. Wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. Not that we have a lot of microwave stuff in there, but good if you're going to be on a long trip. Our bed, Specifically, we've got all of our bedding on it. Try to make it as homey as possible so we can enjoy our trip. Coco's bed. So Coco's gonna be traveling with us, which is really nice. You know, if you have pets, great way to travel. Everybody wants to know about the bathroom. Okay, nice sized walk-in. Actually bigger than the stuff that I've done on cruises. Like some of them have been extremely small. I think we're gonna like this. You never know. Home away from home. You get a lot of room in here to put a bunch of stuff. You got first aid. Hair stuff. Get a nice big closet actually here so you can hang all your stuff, which we haven't done yet, but we've got our towels. We will bring all of our stuff and bring it in here. So I think that's the last packing we have to do is bringing our clothes in here. But other than that, we've got all the beds set up. Also, we've got a good sized 
storage. I didn't realize this, but this right here has room for pretty much all of our bags. So we're gonna put our bags with our luggage down here. Uh, we got the dog crate. We got chairs. You can bring bicycles, like whatever else you want. Pretty good size space. So really excited. We'll let you know how we go. This is our first time camping in an RV. First time doing it, so we're pretty excited. Well, it was time to stop talking and start driving. We had a massive five and a half hour drive all the way to Carlsbad. We finally got into our parking spot. So we're at the Carlsbad South Beach RV parking. This is run by the California State Parks and Recreation. You can book it online. You basically get a spot where you can park your RV. There's no water or sewer connected to these. They do have some of the ones that have electricity, water, and sewer. They're a little bit more money. You just park. It's $50 a night. And you get this all night long. Just a beautiful place. Highly, highly recommended. I'm so glad we did it. It's an experience that I've been thinking about for a long time. Can't beat it. The drive on the motorhome was actually pretty good. I like my little upstairs area. I think it's quite cozy. I also like this view of the ocean. Carlsbad State Beach spots will have a fire pit and picnic table, which is nice to use while watching the sunset. Carlsbad State Beach is about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the campsite. McKenna had us playing Exploding Kittens, and we enjoyed our time until we went to bed. I totally understand why people do this, because you can't have these kind of experiences anywhere else for the amount of money in front of the ocean, listening to the beautiful ocean breeze all night long ticked it off my box, staying on the beach, disconnected from everything, living off the motorhome. Thumbs up. So beautiful day out guys, taking a walk. Uh, we're actually going to dump our trash right now before we get headed to our next location. So we're going to do a drive up to Slovang today and we've got a spot where we've got a connection which will be nice so we can actually hook up and dump everything and take showers. So we're excited but you do have public showers and bathrooms. So these are the bathrooms you get. They're obviously public bathrooms. They do have showers also. Obviously not the best, but the prices here are actually pretty good. And this is considered South Carlsbad Beach. Beautiful area. And the sound of the waves was just magical all night. Now there was a miscalculation of my part due to LA traffic Friday afternoon. People driving past up past us, if they look to the right, they see us eating. Um it's it's honestly it's nice. It's like a little bumpy. A little bumpy. So 
one should have taken us four hours took us almost six but what a beautiful drive up to santa barbara next weekend we visit the beautiful town of Salvank, a danish dream place in northern california thank you for watching our channel and please subscribe leave a comment below and ring the bell for our next video notification we'll see you next weekend guys <laughs>